Zezu Pitts was a famous actress known for her unique voice and funny acting. She starred in silent and early talky films, playing roles of innocent characters. One of her well-known movies is The Wedding March, directed by Erich von Stroheim. Even though she had a hard time adjusting to sound films, Pitts kept going and stayed active in showbiz for many years. She made lots of people laugh with her performances. There are lots of interesting stories about her life and career from how she acted to who she was off camera. Share your memories or stories about this classic actress below. Keep watching for more fun, surprising, and sad facts about her life. Zezu Pitts, known for her unique voice and talent in comedy, made a significant impression in the film industry. Despite facing difficulties with sound films initially, she kept going, showing off her comedic skills in different roles. Particularly, her role in The Wedding March, directed by Erich von Stroheim, showcased her versatility and charm. Apart from her on-screen presence, she also played a role in shaping Hollywood's comedic scene, influencing future actors. Her ability to make people laugh made her popular with audiences, making her a beloved figure in cinema history. Pitt's influence went beyond her time, leaving a lasting impact that continues to be felt in the entertainment world. Zezu Pitts was well known for her unique voice and funny acting skills, which made her a standout in movies. Even though she initially struggled with movies that had sound, she kept going and show would offer funny side in different roles. One of her best performances was in a movie called The Wedding March, directed by Erich von Stroheim. It showed with how good she was at playing different characters and how charming she could be. Besides making people laugh on screen, she played a big part in shaping how funny movies were made in Hollywood. She made audiences laugh and became a favorite in the movie world. Even after she passed away, her influence continued, especially in comedy. She was buried in Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, California. Her last movie, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, came out four months after she died, keeping her memory alive in comedy history. Zezu Pitts, with her unique voice and funny skills, left a big impression in movies. Even though she faced some problems with sound films at first, she kept going and showed off her funny side in lots of different roles. She acted alongside Thelma Todd, playing a clumsy woman opposite Todd's elegant character in several movies. They didn't become as famous as Laurel and Hardy, but people really liked seeing them together. Pitt's name, which comes from her mom's sister's names, Eliza and Susan, means a lot to her family. She's even on a special stamp with other silent movie stars, which shows how much people still love her today. Her influence goes beyond her time and still affects comedy in Hollywood. Known for her unique voice and comedic skills, she made a lasting impression in movies. Although she faced some challenges when movies started using sound, she kept going and showed off her comedic talent in many roles. One notable movie she starred in was The Wedding March, directed by Erich von Stroheim. Besides acting, she also influenced how comedy was done in Hollywood, inspiring future actors. People loved how she made them laugh, and she became a beloved figure in movie history. Her influence didn't stop with her time, it still affects today's entertainment world. She left behind a strong mark on the entertainment world. Zezu Pitts, a renowned actress celebrated for her distinctive voice and comedic prowess, ventured into Broadway in 1944 with her debut in the mystery play Ramshackle Inn, specially crafted for her. The play garnered success, leading her to tour with it in later years. She further graced Sumalimeter Stock Theatres, featuring annually in Post Road, a Norma Mitchell production. Her union with John Woodall remained concealed from the public eye until their honeymoon in February 12, 1934. Despite the clandestine nature of their marriage, their bond endured beyond the spotlight. In 1957, Pitts contributed to My Square Laddie, a gender-reversed adaptation of My Fair Lady, penned by William Howe and Casey Adams. Notably, Pitts, along with Reginald Gardner and Nancy Walker, meant their talents to the musical LP, potentially marking her sole recording endeavor. Zezu Pitts, a renowned actress celebrated for her distinctive voice and comedic prowess, ventured into Broadway in 1944 with her debut in the mystery play Ramshackle Inn, specially crafted for her. The play garnered success, leading her to tour with it in later years. She further graced Sumalimeter Stock Theatres, featuring annually in Post Road, a Norma Mitchell production. Her union with John Woodall remained concealed from the public eye until their honeymoon in February 12, 1934. Despite the clandestine nature of their marriage, their bond endured beyond the spotlight. 
1957, she contributed to my Square Laddie, a gender-reversed adaptation of My Fair Lady, penned by William Howe and Casey Adams. Notably, she, along with Reginald Gardner and Nancy Walker, lent their talents to the musical LP, potentially marking her sole recording endeavor. Zezu Pitts, known for her unique voice and comedic talent, had a close friendship with ill-fated actress Barbara Lamar during the 1920s. They starred together in three films in 1923. When Lamar passed away in 1926, Pitts and her husband Tom Gallery adopted Lamar's son, renaming him Don Gallery. In 1960, she received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6654 Hollywood BLBB. Despite her reputation for comedy, Pitts faced challenges when cast in a serious role in All Quiet on the Western Front. Originally slated as Frau Bayumer, audiences reacted unexpectedly, prompting reshoots with a different actress. This incident highlights her versatility beyond comedy, showing her willingness to take on diverse roles. Her influence extends far beyond her time, leaving a lasting impression on Hollywood history. Zezu Pitts, the famous actress with her distinctive voice and talent for comedy, faced many challenges during her career. Despite setbacks, she persevered and made significant impacts in the entertainment world. She starred in comedy shorts alongside Thelma Todd in the early 1930s, showing her comedic skills. However, contract issues led to her replacement, showing the complications of Hollywood contracts back then. Still, she didn't give up and later found success at Universal Studios. Her role in the thrill of it all showcased her acting talent, although her passing before the film's release saddened many. She influenced Hollywood comedy and left a lasting impression on cinema history. Despite challenges, she remained dedicated to her craft and is fondly remembered by audiences worldwide. Recognized for her unique voice and comedic talent, Zezu Pitts made a notable impact in the entertainment world. Despite facing challenges with sound films initially, she persisted and showcased her comedic skills in various roles. Notably, the portrayal of Trina in Greed introduced innovative hidden camera techniques, capturing genuine reactions from unsuspecting passers-by. The star tile at the Parsons Theater entrance honors her birthplace, celebrating her contribution to cinema. Pitt's friendship with Barbara Lamar and her adoption of Lamar's son illustrate her compassionate nature beyond acting. Her versatility was evident in roles like Frau Bayumer in All Quiet on the Western Front, despite obstacles. Pitts continues to influence generations of comedians and actors in the industry. Zezu Pitts, known for her unique voice and talent in comedy, made a lasting impact in entertainment. She discovered her comedic abilities unexpectedly after a high school prank. Although embarrassed at first, she realized she had a gift for making people laugh, which helped her gain acceptance among her peers. Director Erich von Stroheim recognized her talent, calling her the greatest tragedian of the screen. Despite facing challenges with sound films initially, she persisted and showcased her comedic skills in various roles. Besides her on-screen success, she formed close bonds, including adopting the son of her late friend and fellow actress Barbara Lamar. In the movie All Quiet on the Western Front, she played Frau Bumer, demonstrating her versatility in tackling serious roles. She continues to influence comedians and actors, leaving a notable mark on Hollywood history.